Hi there. I get asked a lot, how do we use the Google Voice search on the old Mi TVs after the Android 9 update? But the problem is that the old remote is an infrared remote and doesn't support voice search. But what if you get the Bluetooth remote that Xiaomi is selling separately and that does support voice search? Well, you can't use that either because the Mi TV 4A 32 inch and 43 inch both don't have Bluetooth. So you can't pair that remote with the TV. But if you still want Google Voice search on your remote, here is the Air Mouse keyboard remote and it does more than any Mi TV remote. Yes, even more than the Bluetooth Mi TV remote. It has the Air Mouse so you can select, click and navigate faster. There's a dedicated full QWERTY keyboard so you can type quicker. Voice search button so you can use that Google Voice Assistant. Dedicated forward, back, pause, play button so you can control your videos. And even a mute button that no Mi TV has. And the best part is this remote can be used with any Mi TV, old or new, and also with any Android TV. Wow, isn't this exciting? So let's have a closer look at the remote. Let's see how well it works. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. So here is the retail packaging. Let's open and see it. Here is the remote and here is the USB dongle which is a Bluetooth receiver that connects on the USB port of your TV. Let's have a look at the remote. So you can see lots of buttons on this side, power button on the top, dedicated forward, back, pause, play, next buttons, zoom button so you can zoom into pictures directly from your remote, home button, back button, the D-pad and OK button just like you have on the Mi TV remote volume up and down, mute button, mouse on off button and here at the bottom we have the voice search button. Let's see the back. The back has a full QWERTY keyboard, very tactile and well placed buttons making it easy on your Mi TV or any Android TV. Here is where you put the batteries. You need to insert two AAA batteries. Let's plug the receiver on the USB port of your TV. Before we begin, I'm doing this demo on a Mi TV 4A 43 inch which doesn't have Bluetooth support. Alright, we're connected and as we press the D-pad, we can use it just like we use our Mi TV remotes to navigate around. So the first thing, let's check the voice search. What is the weather in Mumbai? Currently in Mumbai, it's 28 and sunny. Today, it will be clear. Wow, this actually works. Let's do one more search and see. Show me top news of the day. Show me best movies of 2019. So finally this remote works with the voice search perfectly even on your old Mi TVs. Alright now let's test the QWERTY keyboard on the remote. Let's type something here. So as you saw the keyboard didn't pop up and you can type directly from the remote. If you want the keyboard to pop up, you will have to install the Google Indic keyboard from the Play Store. I have made a separate video explaining how to do it. You can click the card here to see that video. I'll also leave the link for that in the description. So here's a YouTube video playing and as I press the mute button from the remote, the sound goes absolutely to zero. And I press it again and it's back. I can't tell you how much I needed this button. Something I truly miss on all the Mi TV remotes. So as I press the pause play button, the video pauses and it's resumes when I press it again. It also works to forward or go back. Next video and previous video also work. The best part of these buttons is it works with prime videos, videos playing from pen drive and even while playing music. These buttons come so handy when you want to pause and play and forward. Something you don't realize until you have it. Very handy. Let's check the MOS now. And for that, you need to press the mouse button to activate the air mouse. There you go. And the best part of the air mouse is it usually is faster for scrolling between content. Have a look. The place where this becomes a necessity is if you have the mobile version of the Netflix app installed on your TV. Though some things work with the Mi TV remote, but for many, you'll still need it. I highly recommend you get this remote if you're using Netflix on your old Mi TVs. I made a video on how to install and play Netflix on your first generation Mi TVs. If you'd like to see it, I'll leave the links in the description. And finally, coming to the drawbacks. Only one, you can't power on your TV with this remote. That's it. 
you can turn it off you can use it for typing you can use it for air mouse you can use the pause play button you've got google voice search you've got the mute button everything works perfectly but you can't power it on however you can boot the tv by pressing the button right under the me logo in case you were thinking that your me tv remote is not working and you're considering getting this instead so you can get this but only thing is you can't start your tv with this remote you'll have to either physically press it or use the me tv remote everything else works great this remote is selling on amazon.in for 1199 rupees i'll leave the links in the description if you'd like to buy one do check it out so i hope this video was helpful write down in the comments and give me your feedback also if there are any questions do mention them down don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time cheers